Hello friends, thank you so much for being here. Today's video is going to be my August favorites. August had somewhere to be. Uh, August clocked out early. I don't know where the time is going. It's already September. My mentally still in January, physically still want to be in July. First favorite is the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck. These cards are really good if you're someone that needs help with spiritual direction if you're someone that wants an affirmation deck if you're someone that wants to be more in tune with the messages that your angels or spirit or the universe are trying to send to you if you want to be more connected in that way i highly recommend all of the cards are really beautiful i have one sitting on my little whiteboard over there. I put that card up there because that's the focus. That's what I want to focus on in my life right now. That's what I want to manifest and claim that rainbow blessings blessings are showering your life right now. That's what I want to claim. Next, we have a book. Shout out to my friend Autumn who gifted me this book. I fell off reading, um, but thankfully this year I'm back on reading. There's a really cool library that is nearby that I've been going to a lot here. This book I am halfway through and already it's a favorite. This book is visually compelling. It's called All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dower. It is set in World War II. This book is extremely visually compelling. This is the type of literature that when you read it, you can really picture what's happening, but you're also picturing your own life. You're seeing your own life in the story. It almost like it makes you like ill um, to read it because it's so real, um, but in the best way possible. And I love that. Love this book. Next, I got this Squishmallow. I haven't named her yet. Um, if y'all could help me name her. I got her when I went to Costco. So if you have a Costco nearby, they're selling these for $10. I love Squishmallows. This is my fifth one that I have. I've been cuddling with her a lot. <laughs> Next we have this bralette from Aerie. If you are a person that hates wearing bras, so I've been wearing bralettes only. I'm wearing another bralette from Target, but Aerie has the best bralettes. Um, these, this one I think is a seamless one. I got it in a size large. I am a 32G for reference and they sent me a half birthday discount. So I got this um, with shipping included. This was about $17. This will last me. Next, guys, this is the best body scrub I've ever tried. This is from a small business called K Loves Body Scrubs. This is what it looks like. And I will link her Instagram slash website down in this description box so you guys can go check out her small business. These smell divine. Like, I've never smelled anything better. They smell so good that you just want to scoop this out and eat it. This one is the banana scent. I was going to say flavor because it, like, I literally, I want to just... I have the banana scent, the eucalyptus, and the birthday cake. Birthday cake um, is good. It's not my favorite. There's something about that scent mixed in with the shea butter that is not my favorite. But eucalyptus and banana, I highly recommend. I got a set of three. She does a sampler set. And the packaging that she sent it in, it was so cute. She even gave me a little lip balm that I did not have in my cart just to put in there to be kind so highly recommend you try out Caleb's body scrubs try this watermelon facial mist from trader joe's this is like five dollars and this lasts me months i use it every single day to hydrate my face after i do my face makeup i'll spray it to make the product sink into the skin better this smells amazing the mister 
the mister on this is so good. It smells divine. It makes your skin look glowy. So highly recommend. Moving on with another skincare body item, the Lola Vaginal Cleansing Wash. For those of you that have a vagina, still in summer, kind of moving out of summer now, and I don't know about you, but I only wear shorts in the summer, and all the sweat and moisture and whatever else is going on just kind of collects and uh, causes a smell that you may not want. So this is awesome. This is fragrance free and it's 96% natural ingredients. This is about $7 from Walmart and you get 6.7 fluid ounces. You just need a single pump of this and it's enough. Just be wary that fragrance is unregulated. That term can mean basically anything. Next, for my hair, I have a couple of blonde streaks now in my hair and the OGX Purple Toning Drops have helped with the brassiness tenfold, absolutely. You can mix this in with shampoo, conditioner. I put it in with my leave-in conditioner and do it overnight. Moving on to some makeup. The Acne Fighting Putty Primer from e.l.f. It's the green one. And you get a lot of product in here, so this is going to last you a long time. I've been using this almost every single day. I still get the smile lines when I wear this. However, comma, this is very emollient. When you grab it, grab it, <laughs> when you put it on your finger, it's very smooth. It is not difficult to work with. It comes off immediately and it just melts into the skin. Yeah, it doesn't really smell like anything, which I appreciate. Moving on to another putty product. The putty products are really, really good. Check them out. I have the putty bronzers. I have two shades, Honey Drip, Golden Days. These products are really easy to work with. They're not too pigmented. You apply them. Um, I would definitely stipple them, do that kind of motion as opposed to rubbing. So stipple it on, they blend super easy and the way that they set is like a powdery finish, but it's not dry. Next, we have brow products. So I was originally using the ColourPop black, uh, wow, Brow Boss Gel, Brow Boss Gel, mm. and the shade Dark Brown. I honestly like the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara with filling fibers a little bit more. The reason I say that is because the color is better. This is easier to apply. I feel like the ColourPop one, you have to be a little bit careful and sometimes it applies too much. This Essence one applies the perfect amount of product. This is what I'm wearing in my brows right now. It's just a one and done look and this is like $3. This is $6. I would say if you want a brow gel that actually lifts your brow hairs in place all day, get the ColourPop one. Oop. The ColourPop one, this is six dollars. Um, if you don't really have a problem with your eyebrow hairs like falling down and getting all crazy, get the Essence one, it's three dollars and it's just as good. Now, moving on to <laughs> kitchen items Bob's Red Mill Egg Replacer, it says equivalent to 34 eggs, gluten free, and vegan. The thing that's really cool about Bob's Red Mill is that. All of the workers each have a share in the company, so it's completely an employee-owned company. So I also really appreciate that. Good for pancakes, muffins, anything that you're baking. Next, I also got this at Costco. It's the Alpha Breakfast Sandwich, and these are so good. Like, I could eat, I have been eating one of these every single day, and... I also have for the face, this is a gua sha. It's one of these, you can find these anywhere, but I basically go underneath the jawline like this every single day. I found that I was getting a lot of inflammation and redness, like it's so much better 
the definition of my jawline on this side. This side is the problem side, so that's mainly why I'm using this every day. I've been doing it for about a month since I've been in Nevada, and it has made a difference. So if you can find one of these that are ethically sourced from a small business, highly recommend. Next, if you have cats. So we have pet grass. Um, it's wheatgrass, also known as cat grass. This brand is called Pet Greens. This is what it looks like. I got this at Petco. You can find this at Petco, PetSmart, probably Lowe's, you know, places like that. If you have cats and they like to chew on plants that you don't want them to chew on, a lot of plants are poisonous to cats and dogs and other types of animals. So this is safe for them. This helps with their digestion and this has them chewing on this instead of the plants that you don't want them to fuck up. Lastly, I have to pull up my little list so I don't forget. Some of my favorite songs, Oxytocin, NDA, I Didn't Change My Number, oh, and Happier Than Ever, the song, Genius, Industry Baby by Lil Nas X featuring Jack Harlow. I don't know why y'all are hating on Lil Nas. Is it because he's black? Is it because he's black and gay? Is it because he's black, gay, and has more money than you? Is successful? Is having top 10 on the Billboard charts, like, consistently? Stay mad. Madison Beer is slept on. Her music is slept on. I have been listening to her song, her song, Sour Times, at least every other day. Planet Her by Doja Cat. I don't know what happened with that. Maybe it was the rollout. I just haven't heard a lot of people talking about it since like the initial release. It's a good album. Check it out. Get into it, yeah. It's such a bop. It's hilarious. I love the ending. Go listen to it to hear what I'm talking about. Tanache released an album a couple weeks ago titled 333. My favorite song from that album is X featuring Jeremiah. I love Jeremiah. His music is sexy. His voice is sexy. And that is a bop. Next, Lord released Solar Power, the album. It's so, so good. My favorite song is the last one called Oceanic Feeling. And I love the type of songs that they start off sounding sonically in one world and then they transition to something completely different. Oceanic Feeling by Lord is one of those songs. I have been on a SZA kick. SZA can SZA me. And I slept on her song Good Days for months. I, for some reason, I, I heard it the first time and I wasn't floored. And every single time that I get off work and I'm heading home, I that's the first song I play. It's just, it sets the vibe. And lastly, Halsey released her album, Bells in Santa Fe. I have been preaching about this on my Instagram. My Instagram. Go check it out. I have been listening to this song multiple times a day, every day, since she dropped the album. Oh, oh my gosh, that is not everything. Crystals. First off, we have Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye has been so good to me. I have another one that's in my car that's in a little cage that I keep tied to the rear view mirror. Honestly, I think that's the reason that I have not crashed. I always feel safe when I have Tiger's Eye on me. So that's what you're looking for. Highly recommend. And my last favorite, I think this shape is called Merkaba. And this is Angelite. And I love Angelite because this is the stone I use when I do readings for myself and other people. This is a really good stone for communication with the spiritual world, with your angels, communication in general. So that is all I have for you guys. My last favorite is you guys. I know it's kind of cheesy, but thank you to all my subscribers. All my viewers, I love you guys so much. All of the people that tell me that 
you watch my videos, that you like my videos, I appreciate you. You're my ultimate favorite forever. You are love and you are loved. See you in the next one.